My first story is called The Very Greedy Bee by Steve Smallman. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive, but the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. <laughs> The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybug sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he shouted. This one is mine. He's not being very nice. And when one day the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen, he decided to not tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers, and they're all for me. Wow! The greedy bee whizzed and bizzed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. At last, his tummy was full, and he settled down on a pink, big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and fell fast asleep. Like a when the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so rolly and poly that he went down instead of up and crashed. Biff, bang, thump to the ground. Oh, there he is. I'm scared, cried the greedy bee, and I don't know how to get home. Then he saw two glowing eyes in the tall grass. Eek! he cried. A monster is coming to eat me. But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies, their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong? they asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee, and I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, that said the fireflies, and they all set off on a long, long journey home. Through the float forest and the flowers and the squishy mud, over the hills and under the stars trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far, and he was very tired. Nearly there, called the fireflies. Then they heard a whoosh of rushing water. I'm almost home, cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's the stream! And it was, but his hive was on the other side of it. Oh no, said the greedy bee, sadly flopping down on the grass. How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said the tiny ant with the big leaf. There they are with the leaf. The ant and his friends flipped the big leaf into the water. Jump on, they cried. Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, slushing and splashing, to the other side of the stream. Hooray! I'm home! cheered the greedy bee. Where have you been? asked the other bees. I overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would never have made it home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. Now I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some, too? Yes, said the other bees. Let's have a party. Everyone enjoyed a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except one very sleepy, very happy, and but not so greedy bee. There we go. The end. Okay, this one's called Five Hungry Ants. Five hungry ants, marching in a line, came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. 
They marched into the cake. And they marched into the pepper. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Uh, uh, a chew. There goes one. Oh no, there's only four left. Four hungry ants marching in a line. They came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh oh, what a mistake. Uh, uh, a chew. Now there's only three. One, two, three ants left. Three hungry ants, marching in a line, came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, what a mistake. Uh-uh-uh-achoo! Uh, oh, no. There's only two left. Two hungry ants, marching in a line, came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad, they marched into the cake, they marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, what a mistake. Uh-uh-achoo! Uh, oh no, there's only one left. One hungry ant, marching in a line, came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched and he marched into the salad. He marched into the cake. He marched into the pepper. Oh, 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 achoo! What a mistake. No more ants. My next story is called, Can You Make a Scary Face? by Jan Thomas. It says, so can you make a scary face? Hey you! Yes, I'm talking to you. Stand up! No, I changed my mind. Sit down. I changed my mind again. Stand up. Okay, are you ready? Let's pretend. Pretend you have a tiny bug on your nose. Wiggle it off. Can you wiggle it off your nose? Hmm, it tickles. Wiggle your nose and laugh. Ha 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 ha. Oops, the tiny tickly bug flew into your mouth. Oh no! Blow it out! Come on, blow harder. Go poof. There he goes. Poof. Spits it out. Wait, the tiny tickly bug is out of your mouth, but now it's in your shirt. Uh oh. The only way to get it out is to do the chicken dance. Come on, you guys, we can do the chicken dance. Dance faster! Dance faster! <gasps> the tiny tickly bug is stuck in your shirt. Oh, no! Don't worry. Pretend there's a giant hungry frog coming to eat that tiny tickly bug stuck in your shirt. Uh-oh. Look at it. It's like, ribbit. He looks scared. Ribbit. There really is a giant hungry frog. Scare him away. Help. Make a scary face now. Make a scary face. Scare him away. <gasps> Yikes. That's not scary. Look at him. They're like, oh. Wait up, giant hungry frog. I'm still scared. Oh, no. The end. What? You're going to read this book out loud? That's scary.